fast and low on fuel, the scattered French tanks are all but helpless against the Panzer ambush. After some minutes of battle, each French tank was fighting for itself. And at most for the tank on his left and the tank on his right. Red flashes and a crash on our armor. One shot strikes the side door, which bangs open half mangled. Imagine you, you are a tank commander. You are alone in your turret. You have to lead your tank. You also have to man, to man your gun. You have to sight. You have to choose your enemy. You have to fire. And you have to do everything. You are like a tambourine man inside a coffin of steel. French tank, the man in the turret was just seeing through the slit, this view hole, and he was seeing just rotating tanks around him. And he, he couldn't revolve the turret just to keep track with one, not, not to speak of five or six or seven. One hits into our radiator, another shell strikes our 75 millimeter gun, jamming it. The noise is deafening as we are hit from all sides, but we keep firing with the 47 millimeter cannon. When you confuse the, the enemy, um, enemy tank crew enough. And if you shoot enough, sometimes you will hit the tracks, you will hit something vulnerable, or they simply will give up under the pressure. My right track is rattling furiously, and my 47 millimeter gun has been worked so hard that the breach could not be closed, so we withdraw slowly. The German, the German tanks would find a weak spot, would take them out somehow, and then concentrate on the next. Like animals jumping from one point to the other, like really the predatory animals on the next uh, victim. L'Avion is uh, a terrible uh, place for uh, the French tank force. The division was completely smashed up. It was unable of any other action.